Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. The holiday deals have already started, but not all of those great deals you see are online are actually great in real life. And unfortunately, with the start of the online holiday shopping season, there are going to be a lot of online scams. And according to the 2023 AARP Fraud Watch Report, about 80% of U.S. consumers have experienced or been targeted by holiday-related fraud. 80%. This is a huge issue that we are happy to be discussing this morning with Dave Sapinero, the AARP Missouri State President. Good to see you, sir. Good morning. Great hey, to be here. We're thrilled to have you, but that statistic, 80%, this is prevalent and a really yeah, big deal. It's, it's a big deal. So what is AARP Missouri doing to help people stay protected this holiday shopping? Sure. So this time of the year, we kick into overdrive, uh, working to educate the public on how to spot a scam mm -hmm. and avoid a scam. The old adage, knowledge is power, is definitely uh, relevant to scam prevention. And so we just try to get the word out on what are the common scams this time of year and, and how to avoid them so you can keep your money and not give it to the scammers. And let's talk about the common yeah. ones. What are some different types of fraud scams you're seeing? Yeah, so one that people don't often think about, but it's very prevalent this time of year, is uh, fake charity scams. So the scammers will uh, set up a fake charity. Sometimes it has a very good name. It sounds official. Um, and they'll market the heck out of it. And, of course, they know that most Americans, we give a lot of money to charity every year, and most of it is in November and December. So the scammers are trying to get you to go to their fake charity and, you know, donate to them. Mm -hmm. What are some others yeah. that you're noticing? So online shopping, of course, uh, we all do it. It's, it's very prevalent. Um, lots of scams going on. Uh, really, the best advice for that is if it, if it sounds too good to be true, it very likely is. And so just be very careful with online shopping. And then finally, you'll see a lot of uh, emails and text saying that you have some kind of uh, shipping problem. You know, we all order things. Most of the time, we don't remember how many things we ordered. And so these, uh, these shipping notifications can be very effective. Oh, hey, something's wrong. You click on a link. Uh, you know, call us, and really the best thing to do is call the retailer directly if you think that maybe there is a shipping problem. I'm glad you mentioned that because I will be honest, I have things arriving at my house every day, and I am right. getting these texts, yes. and even someone who gets to speak with people like you about this stuff quite mm -hmm. often, I still catch myself thinking, is yeah. this real? Yeah. Is this fake? They're, they're very good. They can trick you. Very. I got one yesterday from the U.S. Postal Service, and it was very well written, and again, I almost clicked on the link. I was expecting something, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, nope, you know, don't, don't do that. So if you do spot it, you are confident this is a scam, this is fraud, this is fake. What should we do to make sure someone else doesn't fall for it? So probably the best thing to do is to call local law enforcement. Even if they can't help you in your specific case, which they may be able to, even if not, many of them are keeping you know, databases of the types of scams going on and if the scam is prevalent the, in the area then you know they'll kick into higher gear looking for ways to you know kind of prevent that we appreciate the time you're giving us okay, thank you this is a big topic that a lot of people are going to be thinking about over the next few weeks and for additional support you can reach out to AARP at 1877 9083360 or visit the AARP Fraud Watch Network online at aarp.org slash fraud watch network. And guys, you're gonna think I'm crazy. I'm yeah, kind too of, late. <laughs> true. I'm kind of happy, happy that some of the really big concerts we've seen over the last few yep. months are done before the holidays because I know a lot of people who have fallen for fake ticket scams. Oh. 